everyone. It's Mags and Jules, and we are so happy to welcome you back to our FlossTube channel. Um, I am Julia Jules, and I'm in normally St. Paul, Minnesota. We're actually at our cabin, so a little bit further north, but in Minnesota. And Mags, Margaret is in uh, San Jose, California. Yeah. So welcome back, everyone. Um, it's been two weeks since we last recorded. We figured maybe we'll go to every two weeks to um, both to allow us to catch up and get some progress done and um, just allows us some time. But we're excited to show some new things that we have. I think we both have some fun new haul and what we've been working on. And we were going to talk a little bit about we, we both are working on mystery stitch alongs and mystery knit alongs. So we thought we would just talk about those a little bit. So should we start with cross stitch yeah yeah okay. yeah cool all right why don't you start us out okay um so the one of the projects we're working on new projects old should i do new projects or old projects sure. let's do new yeah okay whatever yes. whatever you want so um along the lines of mystery stitch alongs or knit alongs or whatever mysteries in general um we're both doing the satsuma streets noel Mm -hmm. Christmas um, mystery stitch along. So with these mysteries, you don't know exactly what the pattern is going to be. So you're looking at the history, like the, the other projects that the, the designer has come up with, and you're kind of deciding if you like that style. And then if you want to take the risk to um, spend the time on sort of like an unknown project. I feel like with the, the stitch alongs, it's a little easier because they usually give you a little bit more of an idea. Yeah, I feel like she gave, like we had a kind of a clue. I think we knew kind of generally the colors or something. Like we just, mm -hmm. it looked at like, they were, we knew they were gonna be bright and shiny, you know. Yeah, yeah. Caterpillar cross stitch, she tends to give you like a very, very fuzzy picture, but you at mm -hmm. least have an idea of the shape. So right. it's always um, it's always a little bit of a risk about whether or not you're going to like what the pattern is. But um, so this is the start of my oh. Satsuma Street. Looks good. Yeah. So I finished this. This guy is finished. And this is all part of clue one. So the four yeah. boxes are our clue one. And I think actually does clue two come out tomorrow already? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So I started clue, um, you know, so I started in the middle of my fabric just okay. to, to make sure it was centered and kind of worked out this way. But then once I had the, the box in place, I started <laughs> starting to work like now. Yeah. Yeah. It looks so good. Yeah. yeah. The colors are super fun on this one. Really bright. Yeah, fun. Yeah, you're further along than I am. I am. Um, let's see. I think I'm just still working on the borders because I'm kind of trying to get the borders done. Like, because I, I, I know I really want to work on the insides, but I'm like, I don't want to allow myself to do that until I get all the borders done. I kind of, I was the same way. So yeah, this is where I'm at. So I'm just working on borders still. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, and this is the um. This is a kit fabric. So I think it was the platinum 30, no, 28 count. It's 28 count, which is really nice to work in because I've been working on 32 mostly. And this is kind of, it's kind of a nice, especially when I want to do it at night now, especially we were just talking before we started recording about how dark it's getting so early. And so when it gets darker at night, even with my lamps and stuff, it's like, it just is easier to work. I think yeah. on 28 count. So, um, and we both have, I don't, if people noticed, and my lighting's a little bad here. We both have, we, we both have these magnetic, um, clippers, which I just, I just wrote down the link for them, um, for the show notes, but they're on Amazon, like a pack. I think they came, came in like a pack of 20 or something. Yeah. It was a big pack. I forgot what they're called now. Magnetic something, something, but they just are like this. And then you can just use them to hold your fabric or whatever you need. It. I think they're, I don't know what they're actually meant for, but yeah, they work well to hold it. It does. It does work well. Cause otherwise mm -hmm. I'm worried I'm going to accidentally catch my fabric. Yeah, I am too. So I started in the corner. I think I just allowed kind of roughly two inches. I went two inches in, two inches in, and just started here and then started working. So, um, but yeah, it's super, super fun colors. Um, uh, this also kind of gets into the haul a little bit because it's one of my new thread keeps that I got. So these, um, these aren't even all the colors. I think we showed all the colors last time, like just, these aren't even all of them, but like just tons of super bright my lighting mm -hmm. isn't great, but super bright colors. And then I just started, I haven't put them all on. I've just been doing it as I've um, started using them. So this is my, one of my new thread keeps I got. Oh, that 
That's so cute. Candy cane one. That's a little candy cane over here. Oh, and this they're is so from, sweet. I know this is from um, Siggy's S I G G Y Siggy's closet. I believe I put, I have it on the show notes um, on Etsy. And actually I just noticed this, even the back of it is so pretty. I did not notice that oh, till just yeah. now. So yeah, they're, I, I really, and this one came with the little cards on it. Obviously you can just keep getting, you know, buy new cards or whatever, but this one came with these nice little fancy cards. And then with the, yeah, and then you have one too. Um, it's an improvement over my current situation, which is super fancy. Don't be jealous like Ziploc bags with the name and number <laughs> that works too. It's everyone has a different, I mean, you know, well, so the one thing is a, I'm late. I, well, I did, first of all, I just got these yesterday from Julia. Thank you so much. But yeah. I was, you know, like, these are a lot of colors to put on the, on the, on the yeah. keeper. So it's kind of debating, um, you know, the other thing is, you don't know, but the other thing is I store all my DMC floss, like in this big plastic tub that has, um, you know, so I lay them all down. So like yeah. all my greens are in a section and when you're, um, like, I don't know what to do if I end up having a really long end, you know, if yeah. you only, cause sometimes you're only using a, a, a piece for a couple yeah. of stitches. And then when I have the ends, it's just kind of easier to throw it in the Ziploc, but then yeah. I'm digging through all my Ziplocs because I tried not to have two yellows in the same bag right. or like two pinks because then it gets really right. hard. Right. Um, anyway, I will. I think that the better situation is the, the, these. Yeah. I just, depend, I think it depends on the project and how many. And I mean, cause yeah, of course afterwards and there's the whole process of, I mean, that's probably a separate topic we should talk about is kind of yeah. store like how we store a thread after. Cause I don't have a great system for that. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. So let me see which one I, which one do you have on for this one? Do you have one? Do you have a thread keep for the Christmas one or no? Um, I don't have one yet, but this oh, okay. is the one. This is yeah, the one I just showed. Is oh yeah, yeah. Let me see that one. I can't. That was the presents. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's she has some super cute, super cute, and she has um, scissor fobs and thread keeps and all kinds of stuff, and it came really fast. Super. Oh fast. wow! Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, really fun. No, I so like, that, I do think this will be the better way to go, but there's, I mean, I feel like there's at least seven, almost 20 colors here. There are. Yeah. It is a lot. So, um, yeah. Yeah. And, and then I, I do, I don't know about you, but I always, I have a pair of scissors with every project. I've, I've started doing that and I've actually found it to be helpful. Yeah. Because otherwise I'm always digging through or sometimes right. I ha usually have a pair of scissors because I tend to stitch in the same spot in the living room, mm -hmm. but um, I have a pair of scissors there too, but they wander. So. I know. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that was Satsuma Street's mystery stitch along. Yeah. Well. Um, so then the other, what else have you been stitching on anything else? Or is that pretty much it? Um, I did find some time to work on my summer Quaker. Yay. Yeah. So I wanted to finish, my goal was to finish, uh, number six, uh, page six, which I did. So that's fin had finished this guy. Every time I see this, I'm like, literally we hang up and I'm like, I gotta go order that <laughs> so, I yes. love it so much. And so I have three charts left. So I started down here. Um, I know that I made a mistake on this one where it's up like a stitch too mm -hmm. high. So I'm actually, so I've, I, cause I made a note on my chart. So I think that I've adjusted here to okay. move this down, but I'm also kind of checking myself this way because mm -hmm. then what happens is all the alphabet lays underneath it. Oh. And so if it's not right, like it's, it's going to be off because mm -hmm. it's all straight across. So I'm kind of checking myself working this way to make sure I have it in the, in the right spot, but I just have three charts left. That's so beautiful. I actually didn't even realize there was an alphabet at the bottom of that one. I'll have to go back. Yeah. So yeah. gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. So I am very happy. This is, a, a, um, I do, I love it. And it's, it's like easy to stitch on yeah. the 28th yeah. and, um, I don't know. It's just so bright and cheerful and fun. So, you know, that's what we need right now. Yeah. yeah and fun. summer. I mean, it's, I don't, it's like, like, although the sun kind of came out, but it's been gray and rainy. Oh, has it? 
you know, we just telling Margaret right before we um, started here that, so we're in Minnesota, so it's been unusually warm for October, probably almost in the seventies or in the seventies up until this past week. And then it kind of, I think the beginning of the week was nice and now it just started cooling down. So it's like 35 this morning. And so now it's like, okay, oh gosh. <laughs> time to start getting all the warm clothes out. Yeah. So, yeah. But I don't know. It's nice to have the change of seasons, I think for us. All right. What else? Anything else? Those are the two that I stitched. Stitching. Well, so I didn't stitch on it, but this also came in the mail. <laughs> yeah, I love that. And it's housing my Halloween sampler, which we've been working on. So, uh, yeah. Not that much, but I think last time I mentioned I really wanted to put the bats in, so I put the bats in. Cute. And then I started the hat, which has some purple. The witch's hat, which has some purple. So cool. it's kind of fun to start to add some of those Halloweeny elements. Yeah, I know. And yeah, that project bag I found on um, Facebook, a group called Judy's Project Bags, I think it is. I just pulled it up right before. Let me look. Yep, Judy's Project Bags and more. And it's Judy Starkey. And it's a Facebook group. And you just, she just posts when she has things available. Like here's one she just posted about, or not, not just, I guess, but so cute. Like little foxes. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. And then, oh, this is a good one. Yeah, cats. I mean, she has all kinds of, she has all kinds of fun Halloween ones right now. Um, but she shipped it super, super fast too. They really good shipping and kind of fun. So. Oh, that's sweet. And so then these, um, another stitch, Julie, I mean, another stitch minder, uh, yeah. no frost, my floss minder. Um, so I put my flosses on it. Cool. And that's another one from Siggy's closet. I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then the black from DMC. So I used one of her cards. I do like, oh, yeah. I mean, um, classic uh, color works does make it easy. I know that's the thing. It's so nice. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So then I have all my project, my project in here. And then I have the extra flosses on here oh, and so my scissors. <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah. It's a good idea to have those little, I should get some like little bags like that. Yeah. From Amazon. I mean, they've mm. got like a gajillion different ones. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I also, well, we talked about the Noel. I have not really done anything on the Halloween one, so I won't show that. I've worked a little bit more, I think, on my tiny modernist. Ooh. Um, so this is also another mystery stitch along. And this is called the stockings were hung. Yep. The stockings were hung and um, by tiny modernist. Oops. I got stuff flying all over here. I should have something let's see not in the best lighting here kind of had to jerry rig my spot but oh so pretty much i'm yeah. still trying to get through that first clue um so the second clue i think came out right after we talked last time or yeah. recorded last time so it's super cute I, I really want to get to it. it's like i'm trying not to start on the second clue before I finish the first clue so i'm almost done i just have a couple more ornaments to do but yeah i, I definitely want to work we're on a we're on a little fall break. We had Thursday and Friday off from school. So that's why we're up here. And I'm hoping I can get some good stitching time in. Yeah. But yeah, I really love this pattern too. Oh, it's, I mean, all these ones are just so fun to stitch on all for different reasons, but mm -hmm. that one looks so good. Yeah, so cute. And the colors are, I like all, I, you know, it's kind of fun to do these. Um, I don't know, there's kind of non-traditional I guess more modern I think yeah yeah more yeah. that's a good way to say it mo more modern and we probably have a, the, our stitch line that we're going to start our Christmas stitch line that we're going to start after mm -hmm. Thanksgiving is probably a little more traditional but these are super fun yeah and then on this one I kind of have it this jerry rig because I have weeks dye works and classic color works and I wasn't gonna redo the threads but this I so I kind of those all this to say I kind of went crazy one night when I, like I couldn't sleep and I bought all these thread keeps on um on Etsy. So this is another one. That's this little, let's see if we can get it in here. Oh, that's little so cute. Deer. And it has that deer and it's kind of green. Sorry, the lighting's not great, but you get Love the idea. It. And this one was, oh shoot, I just put it in the show notes. I'm going to totally forget, uh, but it'll be in the show notes. Um, I'm totally forgetting on the name of it, but it's on, it'll be in there. So also on Etsy, but I'll, yeah. I'll put her show her bring her name in. But yeah, so it's a smaller than the other ones. Um, but just I don't know, they're just kind of fun little jewelry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally not necessary, but fun. 
I like it. It's yeah, you know, little things like this make me happy. I know, Just right? See it and you smile. And then now right. I have the memory that you gave it to me too. So <laughs> Yeah, so I worked on that. And then Mar I've been texting, obviously, we text and talk, we text a lot. So I've been texting Margaret about uh, my new obsession. I can't even, I saw this a couple of times on a couple of different floss tubes, people talking about these Mill Hill um, kits, um, stitch beaded stitch kits or whatever. And so I went crazy and bought quite a few of the ornaments. So they have, they do a lot of ornaments and then they also have a lot of, I think they're five by five five squares mm -hmm. so it's a combination of cross stitch and then well it's all cross stitch but also with beads so um they are so fun they're done on perforated paper and the ornaments are fun because they're little and quick which is unlike most of my projects which are huge <laughs> and I wouldn't even say they're quick quick because I mean it still takes a good amount yeah. of time so this is the first one let's see if I have the picture of it that I'm working on oh, oh sorry, I the, love that one uh, let's see I don't know that yeah there you go and so this is so i made really good uh, let's oh my gosh find a piece of paper to put behind it so, it looks so good oh so you can see like there's beads here there's beads up here it's kind of hard to see pictures don't do it justice and this lighting is not great um and I there's beads the up green, here and I see yeah like in the green i still have some i obviously i still have back stitching to do to get the birds done here and then uh -huh. some back stitching down here but they are so fun. So you just stitch them, do all the cross stitch first, then you put the beads on, which are super easy. They each kit comes. And the nice thing is each kit is totally self-sufficient. So each kit comes with a piece of paper, all the thread. The, the kind of annoying thing is the thread is all jumbled together. So you got to sort it out. Right. Um, but not horrible, horrible. Then it comes with um, both a regular needle and a beading needle. And then all the beads are like in these little bags. And then most of these ornament kits have like a little, they call it like a little treasure. So on this one, it's like this little jewel that goes on. And um, I sent Margaret one too. You can show them yours. And I bought a, I thought I was gonna pull it. yeah, the camper. So cute. But yeah, okay. So here's what you mean by the threads are just all yeah. So you just still, have to go there. through the, they're all there. You just have to go through the list. It, that's the tricky thing is like, you like, there's like medium golden brown, light golden brown, dark golden brown. So you got to kind of, okay, which one is which, but right. it's doable. Yes. So this is kind of my new obsession. So that's the one I've been working on. Um, my 10 year old just started this one this morning, the ring, the oh, moose. That's so cute. So she's made good progress. And it's actually, these are great. I think these are great. I mean, the beading will be a little trickier, but she's pretty detailed, but these are great for a kid. The stitching on it's 14 count perforated paper. So it's very doable for kids. Oh, that's um, so awesome. She made good progress oh on that one. And um, anyway, so I bought quite a few. So I'll just show a few of the ones I got. It was again one of those things late at night. I was like, and there's they're I think they're totally economical. I mean, to get all the to get everything in one, you yeah. know, you don't have to go find a beading needle, you don't have to go find any. I mean, and then I thought, well, these are good little Christmas gifts. I mean, I'm working, I have those um. We talked about them last time, the pioneer, no, prairie school or Santa's, which I also mm -hmm. want to do for some gifts, but yeah, I thought these were so cute. So I have this one, which is, sorry, the glare, this is the partridge. Ooh. And I ordered all these off of one, two, three stitch. I mean, multiple, many places have them. Yeah. So that's the sleigh. I don't know, this lighting is so bad, but sleigh. And then some of these, I, I don't know, I might do this one next, this jeweled one. It has all these I really like that one I saw when you sent me the link. I know. And so you can see like each one has a different, like this one has this gem as its treasure. Oh, cool. So I don't know. They're really, this I'm going to do this one for my mother-in-law. Chickadee. Oh. And the beading is really, an, oh, I mean, I'll show, I don't know. There's so many good ones. I'll show this one last one. The owl. I love the owl. Yeah. Anyway, super fun. Um, all from one, two, three stitch, like I said. There, and there's bajillions of them out there. Um, and like, I just love that they just come with everything in there. You're right. And it's just a nice little on the go project. Yeah. It's so know? easy to slip in your, in your purse. Yeah. And then when you're done, what did I just do with the one I had when you're done, all you do is you cut it and there's plenty of YouTube people doing, have done tutorials on it. You just, so you do all the stitch to do all the regular cross stitching first, then, um, back stitch, you know, the back stitching or whatever. And, and then you put the beads on and the beads are either. Like on this one, um, 
And this one, you can see these beads are kind of laying, well, it's probably hard to see what they're laying. You just do one cross, you do a half cross. So they lay a little bit tilted uh -huh. versus um, these beads, you do a full cross on them. And there's a, again, many, there's really good instructions. Everything comes with, each kit comes with full instructions on everything, but those are full crosses. So the beads lay, lay kind of up and down. Oh, okay. um, anyway, I, I'm like totally addicted to these things. I just love them. I think they're so fun. So I can't wait to, it's like the minute I, and the beating is really, I was telling Margaret before we got started, I just love the beating. It's so fun to see how it just adds like a fun flair. Yeah. Do it. So yeah, you just cut it out and then you can put it back on with felt. Oh. Or even paper, probably, you know, like a thicker paper, cardboard yeah. or something. Not cardboard, but thicker paper. Uh, and I'm just going to use, there's, and there's plenty of like, so I'm almost, I have a few more, I have a little bit more stitching to do on this one. Um, but look at, I mean, this is how much, oh, there's another new thread keeping here. This is all this. I still have all this thread. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, From that project. Yeah. Oh, wow. So they, they, my point being, they provide plenty of thread. And then here's another. Oh, that one's so cute. Oh, this believe in the magic stuff. of Christmas. I yeah. love that. That's a cute one. Anyway, um, plenty. My point is plenty of supplies. You're not going to run out and um plenty of beads so i think for this one um i saw someone on youtube that to make the little they just used the extra beads to make the little hanger you know just thread oh, up the beads cute. yeah just use two two thread two strands of floss so it's really they're fun projects super fun oh so, i like that anyway i think that's it for stitching so um do we talk knitting we're both working on mystery knit along so yes yes all right, you want so, to kick it off? Um, mystery knit alongs again, like the designer tells you, you need five skeins of yarn and different colors, or you don't want speckled, you do speckled will work. They give you different guidelines, and then you have to really decide, like, if you're willing to take the risk. I think Julie and I have kind of mentioned in the past where we don't like to usually use our favorite yarn or our favorite skein because. There is, even if you really like the designer's patterns, there's always a chance that you're not going to just love the final product of whatever right. this mystery. So it's kind of a risk because these are also time intensive. I mean, it's expensive five skeins of yarn plus all the time yeah. to put into it. So, you know, mysteries are, are tricky and well, the other, so it's also fun, right? To be able to participate and kind of have this surprise unroll in front of you. Um, you can also wait and do it after the fact and not do it as a mystery, but we are doing, um, we are doing the mystery, although I've looked at spoilers. Yeah. So this is Stephen West's shawlography. Yes. Shawlography. So, um, I am almost done with clue two. Oh my clue gosh, Margaret. Three comes out tomorrow. <gasps> Um, you've been you've been really working on oh my gosh that is gorgeous so these are my colors that looks so good and so this is the last so this is kind of um you do these two little wings so i've started the the last part of clue two is to do you do one on this side and then you have one on the other side cool. um, of these sh stripes Gosh, I don't even think I've seen that in the, in the, um, what do you call it? Spoilers. That looks, I love your colors so much. Very. So I forced myself when I realized, um, when we talked last time, I kind of realized these colors are similar to what I'm doing for the Sosu mystery, which is not a mystery to me anymore. Um, because I'm draw, I guess I'm just drawn to these colors. So I kind of forced myself to make a different decision and go with the dark so mm -hmm. he gives you advice in terms of placing colors. Your option was to go dramatic with one of your more dramatic colors. So you could either go dark. I probably my would have done the light. I mean, that's more what I'm drawn to. So that this, all these black stripes would have been the light. But anyway, mm -hmm. I forced myself to go and make a different that's... choice for myself. And but I, I mean, love I that, it, know if that you goldish can... color. I really like yeah the ochre the greenish mm -hmm. you know kind of um i mean like all different all these different kind of texture and his he is for anyone who hasn't knit his patterns 
the, the textures and the, I mean, it all, it, I don't even want to say it necessarily looks harder, but he, it's all knitting and purling. It's not like super hard. And he has so many good videos, obviously, to go along with it, to teach us as we go along. And they just have, he does such a cool, I just love all the textures and makes it look, it's so unique. So yes. unique. I, so actually his, for, so there's two things that I love about his videos. The first of all is you can almost knit along with him because he kind of goes through it and he'll do a row or two. He'll make sure you really understand the technique. He'll demonstrate it a couple of times. So, you know, I will almost always start a new section along with him and then I'll pause the video and I'll finish that section. And then when I'm ready for the new one, I replay because mm -hmm. he just really does an amazing job of walking you through it. Yeah. The other thing is he just has this way about him that is so stress-free and I know. fun and relaxed that I need more of in my life. Yeah, he, <laughs> life. yeah totally, totally. Because I think yeah. one of his mottos on this, or he's been saying a lot is say yes, don't stress. Right. And he's always like, if you don't have the right number of stitches, just add or decrease in here somewhere. Right. He's very like mellow. And I had the video on one day I was sitting on the couch and Bill was there. He's like, I really like listening to him. <laughs> yeah. He's super calming. Yeah. Super calming. So his videos, um, and his, especially for these, for these, um, mysteries are amazing. Yeah. You have gotten so far. I am so I'm way behind Margaret. I can't like, it's just like, there's so many fun things to work on. So then I get going. I just haven't I haven't, um, so, but now seeing yours, I really want to get, make, get going on more of it. So I'll just show where I'm at. So like it's buried here. Um, but it, I love working your on this, like to the detriment of doing anything else around. Yeah. House. I'm way, I'm obviously way, way behind. Cause I'm just doing the wedge. I just started the wedges. So I'm using a dark color also. Sorry. My lighting is so bad today. Um, pretty. So yeah, I'm using the, so mine will be more muted. So it's not that I thought it was hard. I just feel like it takes more thought, but actually when I picked it up the other day, I was like, oh, there's not that much, you know, again. So I just need to get going on it. Yeah. On and I wedges. think like, even if you, I mean, I know I threw mine on the floor. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure that I have a couple of mistakes in here. Yeah. But, but you don't, you'll never, I mean, you'll never know it hides no. it really well. And actually I no. feel like the back is kind of a good way to see all the colors. Oh, that is a good way. Yeah. I think and what I was going to say is once we block it too, like that, those wedges all like open up and so yeah. they're really like right now they're kind of all closed, but I think once we open it up and you can really see the colors. Yeah. This would be so pretty. I love it. I okay. Know. Totally inspired me to get going on it. So, I mean, I've been able to keep up so far, but I just, I don't, actually this this hasn't grown humongously sometimes they really grow exponentially well he has big yeah his pieces tend to be big yeah I don't know if I'll be able to keep up in the future weeks like I know I won't finish the last you know the last clue I'm sure we'll have like hundreds and hundreds of stitches but um yeah no I'm I'm happy with how it's I'm really happy with how it's turning out and it's super fun techniques yeah yeah, I just think it's fun to learn. And like, like I just said before, I just think, um, yeah, these techniques that are not hard to stitch, like it's just, once he shows you, it's totally doable, but the effect is so good. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah. I, there are, it's not, there are some places that you really do just have to pay attention to some of these, um, yeah. like some of these, these setup rows and stuff. And even with, like with these guys, um, Right. I would to make do sure like they're lined five. up. Yeah. It, I would do five and then I would put it down. Yeah. And yeah. then I'd come back later. Like that was really, I don't usually like to stop in the middle of a row, but these were super easy to put down and pick back up again. And the same thing with the bobbles, because otherwise it gets a little tedious to me. So I would put it down, work on something else and then come back to it. Yeah. It's so gorgeous. I absolutely love your colors as usual. I did bring, uh, Margaret talked about this last time, the Sosu mystery knit along, which again is not a mystery to us anymore. And of course I got distracted by other new things. So I need to come back to this, but I did bring mine. And again, the colors, the lighting so bad, but. Oh my gosh. So it's like a te dark teal-ish, bluish green. And then my hot pink. 
That so looks so good. Okay, so we're in like almost the same. I worked on mine a Are little. Are we? Oh, we should work. Yeah, again, I look at. Well, this is what we were talking about last time. That single color brioche is such a beautiful technique, and then it goes back into two color brioche, which mine are pretty close, so it's more muted. And I think that's, you know, it's, all these can look so different. So you have a very in this section with um, two very contrasting colors. Mm -hmm. The brioche really pops, and then up here, you know, it's much more muted. Yeah. So. I love her patterns too. So yeah, I mean, so I think we had both intended to do this as a mystery, but we just I'm I was not able to start. I didn't want to I had so many things going on at the time. So I just didn't want to start. But I this yeah. was one that I wish I kind of had done as the, you know, as a mystery, but it doesn't matter. Um, no, those are those are probably my two big that I'll focus on this winter, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we're really close. Yeah. 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 Your lighting is much better so you can see things. <laughs> So well, pretty. my colors are also a little like yeah, more contrasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So even this is the, the light gray with the black, but so I think I was telling you, I wasn't loving the black, how, how big a contrast it was, but it's starting to grow on me. I think it's really pretty. And I, yeah. and I think once the black, I mean, blocking and making it, you know, that all changes how things look. So. And then I think there's bobbles coming up that are going to be in my kind of corally color. Yeah. So I think, yeah, it's hard to judge it. You can't judge it. Yeah. So once you see the whole thing. And what are you wearing? Oh, I am wearing, this is Nelia by Amba. Oh, nice. But I was looking at it. I did this in 2018. I have no idea what the yarn is. On Ravelry, I never put what the yarn is. Oh, it's, although it's I'm 90% sure that it's an Olan it's yarn. Gorgeous. So, so it's pretty. just a nice, um, rec it's not even, it's not a rectangle because it comes to like a long point. Yeah, it's like those, yeah. But I love it. It's um, I don't know. The weather is really weird here. It's kind of I was, humid. I was gonna say that's kind of perfect for California. Yeah. Really beautiful. Yeah. So this yeah, it's almost. I have, I have some of those. I have some yarn and some patterns picked out for yarn that are like more of those monochromatic. Like just, which I really need to do some of those too because, I mean, that's probably another show where we can go through like our stash and what we have. Oh yeah. Get it up. Yeah. No. So this is, I do, I think this used, I don't think it used two skeins, but it used more than one. Mm. And um, again, her patterns aren't super hard, but she gets really yeah. cool effects. Her patterns are good too. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no, this is so good. Neil I mean, I can't decide if it's like cold or hot or what. So this is nice. Nelia, he said. By Nelia. Amber. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Fun. All right. Well, that was good progress. Really yeah for you I know I have I'm on like a total ADD like so many things started I can't I'm always but they're all fun and like you say they bring me joy so I know I know um so yeah I think I'm gonna work I definitely want to work on shallography and for sure finish this one ornament maybe start another and then work on my of course other Christmas stitch along yeah yeah so more clues coming out tomorrow. The nice thing about Satsuma is it's every two weeks. Yeah. Um, West Knit, the West Knit uh, shallography is every week. Oh, well, no so wonder more, I'm so far behind. Yeah, more knitting tomorrow. Um, but I saw like on Sunday where people were saying they were already done with clue two. They must and I joke that I've been ignoring everything else in my house, but actually, I, I mean, I, it's I've ignored a lot, but not everything. And I still am. I know that. I mean, people must be. Yeah. Yeah. That Good for them. Nice. I mean, I'm kind of jealous. Right? Exactly. So totally jealous. On hold. <laughs> totally jealous. Although um, I think my back would really hurt as we, as I'm getting older, you know, like my hips don't like my sitting for all that long anymore. I know as I'm sitting, I'm sitting on piano bench right now. And I'm like, this is not comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel that sledding <laughs> accident from last year. My um, tailbone, I'm like, oh, this is not comfortable. <laughs> but um, okay, well, this was fun. Fun to catch up as yeah. usual. And I'll, we'll have all the show notes with all the projects and what we got and um, all of that. And then we'll plan to see everyone in a couple of weeks. <laughs>